in Batavia, Illinois, and we've come to see some oh, oddity yes. in the suburbs. I don't know if you can see it, it's hiding behind that tree. Hold it. But come with us. We're so we're at the Fabian Windmill. Windmill. Oh, <laughs> wow. Man, this thing can blind Dang, you. Dang, this is like gold. <laughs> Solid gold sign. Shoot. So I guess Fabian brought this windmill here in like 1914. Paid eight G's for it. I guess the thing was falling apart and he paid to put it back together. And it's been here ever since. And when that guy died, he donated the land to the King County. And they, I guess they restored it in the 80s or 90s or something. Yes. And you can actually go in there, so we're gonna head over there and go in. Here is a sign saying they do, you can tour it one to four on the weekends, mid May through mid October. So we might not be able to get in, but we will see. This is pretty neat, man. It's like wearing like Dutch. Is it Dutch or German? I don't know, it's a Dutch. Huh. I don't know what's this, I don't know what this would be used for a windmill. I don't know. I don't think they're using it for anything. Well, I, don't, I don't know they're using it here, but like why, you know, why why would windmills, I guess to grind stuff and use to harness the power of wind to move gears and stuff. So I'm thinking it's locked, we can't go in, so here's some, uh, it looks like a little, some history about it, so let's scroll through this really quick. Looks like it. No, oh, here it is. The mill was used to grind grain and corn up until the into the 19th century. There you go. Windmills. This was actually in York Center, which is located in Lombard, Illinois. So it's actually just a different city of Illinois. I thought it was came from somewhere else. Oh, it's on a stamp. It's on a postage stamp. Illinois, 1860. That's pretty cool. In 1980, the windmill was on a 15 cent stamp. Nice. Oh, here's the inner workings of the windmill. The There's cat, the, the fifth level, the fourth level, the third level, some, some gears. The second level, first level in the basement. Some in, indoor, inside photos of the stuff. It's pretty neat. I wish we can get in. We'll have to come back. I thought it was just open to the people, anybody. This guy's blocking the entrance. The big old weird looking spider. But I guess tours begin at one and it's not even one yet. So we'll probably hang out and when they unlock the door, we'll, we will go in. We'll Maybe we'll go get lunch.
The mirror. Oh, there's a mirror right there. Let's see what's up there. So we just got out of the self-guided tour. They give you a little brochure so that you have some knowledge while you're walking I'll around. I'll post uh, the info, a phone number and stuff on the bottom here. So if you want to visit this place, it's worth a visit. I think if you're in the area, I mean, all in all, if you come after one, it takes with parking, it takes like 10 minutes to walk up, walk through the whole thing, and then it's some nice history, and they, it's all done really nice. And there's an old guy in there with a computer. You know, he, he asked if we had any questions, but everyone was super <laughs> nice in there. They asked if they had it, if we had any questions, if they could answer anything. So they're there to help if you had any questions about it. <laughs> um, but other than that, the only thing I would suggest is if you have issues walking, um, this may not be a great place for you. There's stairs no or, elevators like stairs or really anything. Steep. And the stairs are super duper steep. <laughs> so, alrighty. Yeah. Well, bye. Bye.